Welcome back to GP Outdoors. Did a little shopping lately. Are you sure you have the right chainsaw pants for the saw you're using? Well, I hope you'll stick around for a few minutes. I'll tell you what I uncovered, and I'm really glad I found it. On a fairly regular basis over some period of time, I'll have subscribers that have suggested to me that I try out some chainsaw pants. I've never worn chainsaw pants before. But is it often the case? I started looking, and while I was looking, I found out some really, really important information about chaps or leg protection I didn't even know. If you've got property, you probably have a chainsaw. And if you have a chainsaw, I hope you have PPE. I'm assuming you all do. And we're pretty familiar, most of us, with basically your standard leg protection. Your standard chaps kind of look like this. Pretty simple, usually front of leg protection or a type A style protection. This one here, at least for the last four or five years, has been my favorite. This is called an apron style chap. A little bit different in design, a little looser fit. I like them because they're much, much lighter than a standard set of chaps. They go on easy, very flexible. You can move around, not too restricting. But over the last while, I've been interested in and started to look at options for chainsaw pants because a lot of folks out there have told me it's great to have a pair and that I should try out a pair. So I did. I started looking probably last October, November. So I'm looking forward to trying these for the rest of the winter and I'll wear them right through the summer. I think the big test for me is going to be the heat of July. We'll see how comfortable they are or whether or not they're more beneficial than just going back to the old chaps or the apron. Well, I got them on. A lot of logs over at Guys to Buck Up. Let's head over. Guess we're gonna need a chain. And I'll be honest, I was pretty surprised at all the different manufacturers, makes, models, different types of layers of whether it's Kevlar or ballistic nylon or this newer type fabric or protection called Advantech. There's a number of different options out there and you can pretty much get a pair of chaps for about 50 bucks Canadian, 55 bucks, and you could go right up to over $600 for a top of the line professional set of chainsaw pants. Generally speaking, any of these products, whether they're chaps, apron chaps, or pants, they all usually will have some kind of a reference to either an ANSI certification or compliance, or a UL listing, or a ULC listing, an EN or a European type standard, you know, certified or approved. And there are different classes and there are different types of protection for your legs. This I didn't know. I kind of figured they'd be certifications, but I didn't realize the breadth or the, how broad the different types of certifications or quality or levels of cut protection are out there for chainsaw pants. Oh, aren't we dressed for the occasion? <laughs> what do you think? You're going to go in the bush like that? Well, I was going to go on the runway, you know, with all the other models turn around. <laughs> Don't turn around, please. There we go. Boy, they were frozen in there pretty good, eh? Two of them are frozen together, and heck with that, you can't go apart. I'll see. I noticed Mother Nature took care of your roof for you. Well, it sure did. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we're going to get those other logs for a little while. Well, I don't think so. But hey, let's uh, buck them up. If I hear Andrew drop by to see you, and he drops something off. Whoa, was that a heavy parcel? <laughs> it is, eh? I'm looking forward to trying it. It should be fun. Think so.
maybe similar to yourself. I've just, whenever I've needed a new set of chaps or an apron, I just go online, I look at the best deal, and I buy them, something that I like. What I learned though, through this little adventure is that not all chaps are created equal. And in fact, the type or the pair of chaps that you choose to buy needs to coincide with the type or model of saw that you use. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Let me tell you what I found out. When you're looking for that protection, you'll find the different ANSI certifications or UL listings, etc., that they comply with. But on some websites, they'll actually let you know, or they'll, in addition to those certifications, tell you the rating or the cut protection based on the speed of the chain on your chainsaw. You'll see that measurement either in feet per minute or meters per second. There are chaps that are rated at a 2,000 foot per minute cut rating or cut protection, 2,600, 3,000, 32, 39, 36. I think the highest one that I found was rated for 4,100 feet per minute. Triggered a bit of curiosity. Hadn't really ever paid attention to it or noticed it. So I called my chainsaw guy down at the chainsaw clinic in Toronto. If it's not already written in the manual for your chainsaw, there's actually a very simple calculation or a formula that will allow you to derive the saw speed of that chain on your chainsaw. And whether you derive it in meters per second or feet per minute, doesn't matter. You can take some of the information under the technical specs in that manual, do a few formulas, and it'll come out and tell you how fast that chain spins around the bar. In my case, the MS261C at 9,500 RPM spins about 3,560 feet per minute. That's the speed of the chain. And what that means is, when I'm looking for chainsaw protection for my legs, I need to make sure that I buy a product that is at least that 3,600 feet per minute protection for cut. So I did. I picked up a pair of steel chainsaw pants. They offer 3,900 feet per minute protection. I think I'm going to be in good shape. I'm also kind of excited to try out a pair of pants instead of an apron or a set of chaps. Let me tell you what I bought and why I bought it. Still, of course, had a lot of different styles and models to choose from. This is what they call their Function Ergo. Wasn't their highest price pair, but wasn't their cheapest. But I liked it for a couple of reasons. Claims to be very lightweight, offers 3,900 feet per minute. As far as your saw speed, Full pair of pant, reasonably light, as they suggested, and it's also supposed to be made of a breathable fabric, so hopefully in the summertime, I won't be as hot as I am when I'm wearing my chaps or my apron. Far, far lighter than these, if I can tell you. Not quite as light as the apron, but reasonably close, so I'm not too unhappy with it so far. Number of different pockets on it, which are zippered, which I think is really important. That way I'm not bringing home a pocket full of chips. But there are two main features which drew me to this pair of pants. In addition to the style, the way the pockets are laid out, it's lightweight material and then it says it's breathable fabric. It also, similar to my Skadook clothing, has a vent on either leg that you can open up in the summer to allow air into your leg. So if you do start to get hot, similar to what I do with the snowmobile jacket, I just opened the vents up to allow airflow into the leg of the pant. One of the, <laughs> one of the biggest features at my age. Mm. 
stretchy waistband. I think the days of trying to squeeze into a pair of Sergio Valentes has long left me. And at my age, and with a little bit of love right here, having a little bit of elastic in your waistband is not a bad thing. The pants also came with the button sewn in for a pair of suspenders. Personally, although it's got belt loops, I'm not a big fan of having to wear a leather belt when I'm outside working, especially when I'm bending over or twisting or doing work. It tends to be a little restrictive and of course is not very comfortable when you're constantly bending over with a belt buckle or that restriction of that belt around your waist, which is why I prefer overalls. And in this case, I also purchased a pair of the steel suspenders to go with the pants. I'm kind of liking these pants. <laughs> <laughs> you look so pretty. Well, actually, I'm actually hot. I put long johns on like I normally do with my overalls, but I'm kind of getting a little hot. I should open up the vents. Oh. <laughs> hey, I think that should do her for the test tomorrow. Oh, I think we got enough to make her work tomorrow. Good, good. I'm but looking forward to trying out that single wedge. I'm looking forward to burning the wood. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. Well, thanks so much for sticking around today. First use with the pants. So far, super comfortable, flexible. Don't feel restricted at all. And warm, actually. Like I said to Guy, I got my long johns on and I probably shouldn't have put them on. If you like the channel, please click subscribe, hit the like button. And if you want to know when I post the videos, just click that little bell. Have a wonderful and safe week with your families. Please be kind to one another. And I'll see you on the next one. We're going to try out that single wedge on the Ultra. Cheers. Are you coming? Can I come out now? Yeah. <laughs> Let's get the coffee.